Yeah, I'm going to say all praises and honor to your house, but I shame you, Shai, but I shame you, Kaka Kodash. And double honors to your pastors and the elders of Great Men Stone. Shalom to all our brothers and out there pushing the truth in our sincerity and in our honesty. We basically am from my Jimmy, so I'm from Jamaica camp. You know, I'm out here in Port and Tony Portland. And this evening, I'm going to do my video. And I'm um, the chariots of Israel, so called white man called him, UFO, or aerial phenomena. You see it? And right now, we're in a time now, you know, like a so called UFOs, which are the chariots of Israel, you know, um, sightings, you know, taking place right across the world. You see me, even um, in, I mean, I believe I see a video with, um, in Florida. Um, what do you? Because all these so called UFO sightings we've been seeing over the years, you know, coming up to this time, all these, you know, part of the sign of the second coming of the Lord. And save your house shine. You see me? Are we in that time right now? You see, the Lord, the house shine is going to come back and you know, deliver the elect as called to the scripture, Matthew 24, uh, 30, 30, 31, I believe, or 30. Um, so, even the Father, I was telling the Son, your house shine, I'm going to deliver the angels, I'm going to deliver the elect from the four wings of the earth. You see, are we in that time when that prophecy you know, will come to pass? You see, can I go on, brother? Article? Yeah, man. It's an article by BBC News entitled Pentagon Releases UFO Videos for the Record dated 20th of April 2020. It says the US Department of Defense has released 3D classified videos of unexplained aerial phenomena, quote unquote. The, pen, the Pentagon said it wanted to clear up any misconceptions by the public on whether or not the footage that has been circulated, circulated as real. And over the years, you know, um, Pentagon basically been hiding, you know, all the information about this um, so-called UFO. I believe last year we do a video where they said, they you know, bring it out to the, to the forefront, to the people. You see, because they've been hiding all these things over the years. You see, um, continue, brother. The videos had already been leaked in 2007 and 2017. Two were published by the New York Times, while the third was leaked by an, by an, uh, by an organization co-founded by former Blink 182 singer Tom DeLonge. Yeah. After they were first leaked, some people claimed the videos showed alien and identified flying objects or so-called UFOs. Because really and truly, you know, according to the scripture, you know, angels are basically fly these craft. You know, but in the Esau movie, you know, for a young, for a younger age, you're growing up in this society, you see, in, in this movie, in this, these flying saucers, or some, some, some octopus, maybe some tentacles and them things, that's a lie for Esau basically make up. You see, really and truly, the angels fly this craft here. You see, they can bring out something for my brother, um, Psalms 68 and verse 17. You see, because when I turn now, when I turn now, when this truth are pushing you, know, you see me heavily right across the world, especially on YouTube. You see me, Yahweh Shai said, um, um, everything will basically in the darkness will come, come to the light. You see me, it's called, it's a lie what Esau has been telling you. It's where you have some green, green man, big head green man with some big guy flying this craft. It's a lie. You see me, really and truly, the angels fly this craft here. You see, go on, brother. In Psalm 68 and verse 17. Go on. The chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai are 20,000. The chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is 20,000. He what? Thousands of angels. He's a thousands of angels. Go on. So the Lord is among them. Go on. As in Sinai in the whole place. Go on. Exactly. So the angels are basically fly these crafts. The so-called white man called UFOs. You see, that we in a time now, you see, when the house shy is going to come back with thousands and thousands of, of, of um, chariots, so-called white man refer to them as UFO. You see, but we in a time now when the Lord of your house shall come back. You see, me, you have Donald Trump said this year they want um, dominant out of space. You know, call him to prepare for fight against the house. Right. You see, you can bring out second Ezra, my brother. <coughs> second Ezra 13 and verse 1. Okay. Mm -hmm. Second Ezra 13 verse 1 says, And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamt a dream by night. Gone. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea gone. that it moved all the way via rough. And I, I, water, space, and see, I gone. beheld and lo, that man walked strong with thousands of heaven. So what is that? who is that man that walked strong with the thousands of heaven? The man who people um, ignorantly call Jesus. True name in the Hebrew is Yahushai. You see, because brother, the scripture earlier answer, the chariots of the Lord, 
are twenty thousands, even thousands of angels. So she was said that man works strong with the thousands of heaven, talking about Yahushai, our Lord and Savior, go on. And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. Because all these army, all these fighter jets, you know, when Yahushai come, because Yahushai come back in the midst of this World War III, you know, this third world war destruction, all them are going to tremble. Because Yahushai is going to be one of the biggest chariots. You know, in the movie um, Independence, they you know them, them, them refer to it as the mothership. You see, but really and truly, it's a fathership. You see, to to a chariot, to a how shall be they call it big. Um, they were scared because there was not like this here. You see, because they block out the sky. Because if even if it's a chariot them, along with that big fathership here. You see, continue, brother. It says, and whensoever his, the voice went out of his mouth, or they burned. That heard his voice. All they burn that heard his voice, yo. All them are get burned up by, by the by the powerful um, laser beams from these chariots, yo. One. Like as earth faileth when it feeleth the fire. One. And after this I beheld a low, it was gathered together a multitude of men. Gathered together, huh? Multitude of men, because all these army are come together, you know, through the folk on the earth to fight against the house. They go fight, they might go fight against each other, I can't do. I call to Bible prophecy, because Lord, Yahweh said, I'm going to basically bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, at the Middle East, you know, and I'm going to plead with them there for his people. So, in the midst of World War III, you know, Yahweh said, going to come in here. As soon as the ICBM is them, then fire off. Yahweh said, going to come in with the chariots. So, I'm going to stop fight against each other, you see me, and come together just like where um, Ronald Reagan said. If we should have an outside threat, we should put aside our differences to fight against the outside church. So all these army have come together along with the so-called white man to fight against the Aushai and the angels them. So she said they was gathered together a great multitude. Give me, give me one revelation, brother. Revelation 19 and 19. Can you go back to that one then? Revelation 19 and verse 19. Go on. <coughs> so, uh, and I saw, and I saw the beasts and the kings of the earth. Is that what the scripture says? You see me? John and the island of Patmos says what? The, the beast, which is basically um, NATO, you know, um, alongside um, the EU nations. And the kings of the earth, all these nations, you see me, are right across the world. Go on. And the armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on, his, on the horse and against his army. Go on, get against him, him that sat on the horse. To the chariot basically refer to, the horse represent to um, um, the chariots, you see, because the horse um, has something to use as, as power, as the brother I mentioned. So all these army will come together to fight against the Haushai, you see me, along with the angels. You see, you can, you can walk that now, brother. Yeah. Second uh, Corinthians 13, verse 5 says, And after this I beheld a law, there was gathered together a multitude of men Gone. out of number from the four winds of the heaven. From the four winds of the heaven, from east, west, yes. north, and south. All of them all come together. If, if they move there, let me show you. You know, with all the army, they might come together to fight, fight the army, um, that um, chariot basically, you know, big chariot in the sky. Yeah, in the movie, I'm um, independent there. Yeah, because Isa know, Isa know him going down here. But in you know, you know, that movie, they, they destroy the, 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 um, the, the big, big um, so called UFO, the chariot. But in the reality, you see me, I can't tell scripture. That's not go answer. That's not Isa, that's not Isa I'm moving you know, because Isa is starring in the movie. You know. But in your house, you have a Bosch Mirashai movie, he's all going down. He's all putting in a movie independently, destroy the big father ship. You see, but this is how the scriptures are going to happen to all these military, you see, all these fighter jets, we are come together. You see, all of them are come together to fight against the Lord, the Haushai, and the angels. Them. I can't do the scripture, this is how it will take place. Go on, brother. It says, From the fools of heaven, subdued the man that came out of the sea. Go on. But I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain. Can talk about that big fathership. Go on. And flew upon it. But I would have seen the region or place Go where on. he was graven. Go on. And I could not. Go on. Because to, to the chariot of Yahushai, I was basically being big. It's just basically, you know, say, look, look like a mountain. You see, too big it is here. The fathership. Go on, brother. And after this I beheld and lo, 
all they which gathered together to subdue him Con. were sore afraid. So all his military, all his fighter jets um, playing with these um, soldiers basically are in. All them are scared. They are afraid to basically fight against the house yeah. and the angels them, one. And yes, and yet there is fight. But they still have to fight because the house have to put the spirit on them to fight. One. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword Gun. nor any instrument of war. Gun. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth Gun. as it had been a blast of fire. Talking about the powerful laser beams. See what these chariots fire gone? And out of his lips a flaming breath. Gun. And out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempests. Gun. And all, and they were mixed all, and they were all mixed together. Gun. The blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was which was prepared to fight Gun. and burn them up every one. I can't, I can't this scripture every single one of them um soldiers are gonna get put to death here. We are come to fight against we are, we are basically come together with the, with the so called white man to fight against the house. Every single one are gonna get destroyed according Gun. to this prophecy. Because it's, a, it's a basically a vision um, Ezra basically get of things to come. You see, we are, we are, we are approaching that time right now. So every single one of these um, military going to get destroyed. When Lord Aushai, you know, make him a second return. Says, All um, the military plane. What? Says, so that upon a sudden, of an innumerable no. multitude, multitude, nothing was to be perceived but only dust and smell of smoke. Gone. When I saw this, I was afraid. God, scary. It's a scary time we're approaching right now. No? Things are getting real, real serious. One. Um, Isaiah 66 and verse 15. One. Um, um, For behold, the Lord will come with his fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Can the Lord, how shall I come back with his chariots? You know, out fire like a whirlwind. Go on. To render his anger. See, my Lord, how shall I come back with hunger? You know, contrary to what these so called Christian belief you. Know, Lord, how shall the man of people ignorant the car Jesus has come up with anger? You see, great anger to God. With anger, with, um, with fury, and, and his rebuke with flames of fire. Can. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. Can. And the slain of the Lord shall be. Many. Can't say super said the slain of the Lord are going to be many. So a lot of people won't get put to death when the Lord how shall I uh, make him second return? Go on. Talk to you article. Back in the article says what, what is in the videos. It's according to New York Times, a clip from 2004 was filmed by two naval fighter pilots and shows a round object hovering above the water about a hundred miles out in the Pacific Ocean. Done. Two other videos filmed in 2015 mm. show objects moving through the air, one of which was, one of which is spinning. In one, a pilot is heard saying, look at that thing, dude, it's rotating. Continues says, in his statement, the Pentagon said, after a thorough review, the department has determined that the authorized release of these unclassified videos does not reveal any sensitive capabilities or systems mm -hmm. and does not impinge on any subsequent investigations of military airspace incursions by unidentified aerial phenomenon. Okay. No. Um, Department of Defense is releasing the videos in order to, to clear up any misconceptions by the public on whether or not the footage that has been circulating was real or whether or not there is more to the videos. The aerial phenomena observed in the videos remain characterized as unidentified. So unidentified flying object that on to ESA, but you know we, we basically what what are uh, these so called your voice so. Uh, it's, it's, these are so called your four hours, you see, because we, through the spirit and power of Hashem, you know, you have the understanding, you see, of what takes place in the scriptures. You see, I will know, so the time we're living in right now, you know, um, with the time of our deliverance, you know, and as I mentioned when we started the video, all these things, you see, are part of the sign of the second coming 
But the Lord and the Savior, you are You see, then Esau eat them. No matter how Esau eat them, off basically try how they want to do. Even last year, remember that video that circulated um, and I'm a fire for one so called UFO. You see, man, could you shoot it? You know, we we'll shot them on fire and could you shoot one? Imagine thousands. Be sure it's Esau. Esau is no much at all. It's not for this technology. All the way Esau have, you know, how we advance right now in technology. You can't compare to the chariots. You see, the chariot, the chariot that you have about Hashem and Shayam um, um, technology. You have, you have, um, yeah. you have an interview come out and say the things that the chariots are do Gun. it defies the, the laws of um, physics and gravity. Gun. Gun. Uh, uh, we, have, we have a video with a, um, a chariot. So basically, they might do a missile test. And the chariot just fly around, shoot, yeah. shoot the, the warrior and the missile um, three times. One on the right, the, the front and the side. And just fly gone. You see, man, the missile that travel almost in thousand miles per hour. So you feel the speed of the speed of the chair moving on like it can, like it can um, teleport from one place to the next in, 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 a, in a quick instant, in a second. You know? In um, this is um, Luke 21 and 25. It says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, you know? and up on the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, and the sea and the waves roaring, men art, men art failing them for for fear mm. and looking mm. and looking and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, and. for the powers you know, of heaven shall be shaken, you know, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming. In the cloud with power and great glory. Mm. Talking about the, um, the chariots of Yahusha, because Tuba say um, immediately after the tribulation in those days, um, you can't you can bring one of me to brother. Um, you know, when I'm at 24 uh, and 29, see, after the time we approach you know, the time of Jacob's trouble. Lord you have share, but basically um, make your rival. I got a shot point on someone, yeah. brother. Is, yeah. They actually say, um, men are feeling them in. For, and when I think what, what, what men are they feeling for, or when the appearance of the big fathership, everything in um, uh, Second Ezra, Second Ezra, Second Ezra. Mm -hmm. I mean, just to imagine that big ship just blocked out the sky, man. Right. Yeah, I mean, man are going to go and feel them, <laughs> feel them yeah. on the spot. Man are trapped on dead. Yeah, so, I mean, I'm, I'm basically with the point of the chariots and basically he saw seeing these chariots man, and, and, and fear in him heart. See? He won't pretend like there's no fear, but they, they, these, these are signs in the heavens where I show him, say, boy, hey, <laughs> hey, these things are real, man. Yeah. See? Done. And this, Done. All of these things are signs. This is Matthew 24, verse 29. It says, Immediately after the tribulation of those days, shall, it, shall the sun be darkened. Done. And the moon shall not give her a light, and the stars shall fall from heaven. Talking about on the warriors, them, you see, because ultimately, um, this um, ICBM missile war is going to basically ruin on the land of America, and also on the land of Israel. And all these stars, all these rich people in this society, all of them going to be coming down. You see, every single one of them are going to basically be brought low. Because, you no, know, time and time basically. Of this world, I, I, I live, this, live them happy life, you know, and them luxurious life, I come to an end. So, all these nations, all these hidden nations, they're going to slavery. Every single one of them will survive after this third world's war destruction. I go straight to slavery. Go on. It says, And the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. Because all these leaders are going to shake. Go on. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man. Then shall appear. The sign of man because you know it's gonna lead up to you know a lot of things taking place, the, the chaos, the martial law, you know, you're gonna have mass chipping worldwide because all these things are basically um, take place. Basically before you um, you reach that point when you house you're gonna basically make him a rival. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people get put to death, you know, famine hitting people, the diseases, you see it, and people say the powers are gonna stand in fear, leaders are gonna sh shake. You see me? Bug out and know what to do. You see me? Then shall appear the sign of the son of his coming of who? Yeah, the sign of coming of man, which is your house shine. Go on. 
And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of Gone. heaven Gone. with power and great glory. Gone. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. Gone from on the east to the west, you know, the north, the south, you know, because we scatter throughout the four corners of the earth. So they are going to deliver the elect from the four wings of the earth. For people who are scattered. Um, yeah, it's Isaiah 31 verse 5 See as birds flying So will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem Because as all, all, as all, as all the birds them basically fly Because you know, if you notice birds when birds are flying They fly in a, they fly in a basically um, formation You know you have one in front you know uh, Three or four You know the back, back of the one there are two they Come down the line with a triangle shape You know them flying You see me that's how the chariot them come back in formation You see go on as birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Defend Jerusalem. This is defend what? The elect. The Israel. The Israel, the elect of Israel. You see, because Jerusalem is a people before it become a place. So talk about the elect. Because the Lord will come back and deliver the elect here. As we read the scripture earlier, what? Right? Defending also, he will uh, pass sorry. over it. Defending also, he will deliver it. Right? And passing over, he will preserve it. Right. Exactly. So the Lord is going to defend the elect here. It's all about the elect. And a lot of people are going to get put to death. You see, if I call to the scripture. You see, it was all who join unto them and get them, it's just true. So even, even, even two to the people, get, a lot of them are going to get destroyed by even the powerful laser beams from these chariots here. Can okay, I remember, brother, on Revelation 1 and 7? You want uh, Isaiah and uh, Jeremiah 25, 33. Revelation 1 verse 7 One. It says, Behold, he cometh with clothes. Behold, he cometh with clothes. Who cometh with clothes? The Lord, the house shy. Um, the man of people, ignorant, they call Jesus. You can't bring up the clothes scripture. This is Psalms 104 and verse 3. One. Who laid the beams of his chamber One. Um, in the water. Who make it the clothes his chariot. Who make it the clothes his chariot. So when the scripture says, people, Behold, he cometh with clothes, it's a talk about the chariots. You see, because here we explain what is it basically a cloud, what I refer to. It's a chariot. So, Lord, how shall I come into that chariot? A lot of chariots here. So called white man call them a UFO. Uh, ah, yeah, aerial phenomena. What? We walk it upon the wind of the wind. Gone. Gone. Okay. Yeah. It says, Behold, he cometh with clothes. What? And every eye shall see him. Every eye shall see you, how shall I? Everybody basically living. You know, during the time, you know, when the house shall make him a rival, you're going to see the house shall come in you. Go on, through the clothes, go on. And they also which pierced And him. the man that will pierce the house shall, going back 2,000 years ago, they back here today. You know, face fear some judgment. You see, every single thing we do to your, um, oh, uh, your house shall back then. You see, all them back here today. You see, because reincarnation in the scriptures. So if them man will face some judgment. You see, two days ago, you can come into the scripture. Um, a thousand years now, our side. Is a is a, a day, is a yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, um, as a of Psalms. You see me two days. So that was two days in the sight of the Heavenly Father. You see, so your house shall come back you now with revenge. You all are basically with them with the two hours shall going back two thousand years ago. Yeah. So I'm gonna pay for all these things though. What? Please up. Finish, huh? so it's, um, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Because of him, even so, a man. Gone. So all King Jude of the earth have a will. But the people going to basically cry. You see, when your house shine, you know, start to basically um, make him a rival because a lot of people are going to get put to death, as I mentioned earlier, and about um, the chariots, you see, they must destroy a lot of people. You know. Just like how Scripture says, the Lord of the house shall deliver the elect from the four wings of the earth. Scripture says, slain of the Lord of the earth, many in that day. So a lot of people going to run for them life. And get the whopper zapper, um, as um, Apostle, you know, right, pull put it, you Apostle Gabba, right, pull put it, and get the whopper zapper. Go on. Yes. So, um, so the book of Acts 1 and verse 9, it says, And when he had spoken, Acts 1 and verse 9, and when he had spoken these things, Can. while they um, beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him. Can talking about of their sight. Talking about your house, I'm um, going back um, 2,000 years ago. 
You know, in the house, I basically I leave disciple. See, a cloud receive him. He get beamed up by one of his charity, one of his charity back then. So, so the disciple, um, back then, see how she get, get beamed up by the chariot, what? By the chariot, what? And while they look steadfast towards heaven. So, they might look up and watch how she get beamed up. Like, go up in the sky, you know? What? As he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Um, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? Can. The same Yahawashai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner. Can. So see him when you get taken up, I see him come back here. You see me, the chariot take him up, going back 2000 years ago, and I come back with the chariots. You see me, a lot of chariots here. You see, because you know, I come back on base and set back the earth in order here. You see me, and deliver him, elect first fruit, you know, from the four wings of the earth and remove Esau and Edom from out of power. Right. You see, that, you how we shall come back on there. Because right now, this, this earth right now, no? Need to get uh, this, uh, this child, get purged. You see me, to deliver level of wickedness what takes place right now in the society. And so, because white man, time is up here for rule. He's an, he's an fit ruler. So we now turn on Lord how she's gonna basically come back and remove them from out of power. And out of the dust and ashes of this wicked society, all righteous kingdom gonna basically be on the earth. What? He says, in like manner as he have seen him go into heaven. Can. Can. Yeah, man. 25 and 30. Alright, this is Jeremiah 25 and 33. And the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even unto the other so end of the earth. So a lot of people are going to get put to death by the chariots here. See, but the slain of the Lord will be in that day, the time we are approaching right now, from one end of the earth, from the east to the west here. You know, to the south. A lot of people are going to get put to death by the chariots here. I run for them life and I get the wafers up. up. Like, 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 for example, a movie, Warp World. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people, no? I get them get the basically destroyed by the, by the, by the laser beam. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, an example for sure, you know, of, of things to come. Yeah. Huh? They shall not be lamented, neither gathered, nor buried. They shall be, they shall be dung upon the ground. Right, exactly. Yeah. That's it, huh? Jeremiah 4 and 12, he said, Even a full wind from those places shall come upon me. Now also I will give sentence against them. Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariot shall be as whirlwind. His horsemen are swifter than eagle, one to us, for we are spoiled. Zechariah 5 and 1. So then I turn and lift up mine eyes, and behold, and look and behold, a flying roll. John. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. Gone. So Zachariah Zach Zach said, I see a flying roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if we say a flying scroll. You see, because you have the, the chariots. You see, you have chariots and now you have them, they have different colors. Scripture tell you. So you have different colors and they have different size, different shape. See, it's so all different style, you know, and shape. The chariots and basically have. Okay, you see, gone. What? So it's, it's, um, just like how these are like team thing them diverse of diversity of uh, uh, um, chariots where you're basically with us a car in plane and all them things eh? and yeah, the most I think is more advanced than him eh? the most I have them in all different types mm -hmm. like creation yeah, yeah. the most yeah and um, like you know yeah. when you want to eat out the, the children they want to use the road to Egypt as they be a cloud and a night a pillar of fire that, yeah gun so it's um he said, um, and he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll, and the length thereof is twenty cubits, yeah. and the breadth thereof ten cubits. Then he said unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. Can. This, this is a curse, because really and truly, all these so, so called UFOs, you know, people basically been seen over the years, so called white man been coming up and uh, hiding for so long, really and truly is a curse to the so called white man. You see, because as I mentioned earlier, you know, Lord, how shall I come back 
You see, with thousands and thousands of chariots basically remove so called white man from out of rulership and get booted out of rulership. So, you saw the scripture is right here. This is a curse that goes forth over the whole earth. Because a curse to the so called white man, as we are saying, man. It's a blessing to Israel. Man. God, blessing to the elect. Because, because um, that will be our vehicle. God. And that will be our, our deliverance, as the scripture says. God. But that is. Matthew 21 and verse um, 27, 28, and verse 28. Yes, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your head Turn. for your redemption dry night. Turn. Or deliverance dry night, or salvation dry night. So when you see all these things, all these prophecies, all these signs, you know, taking place, you know, right across the world, you're supposed to lift up your head because our redemption dry night, our deliverance is near. Come on. It's a mocking arm, Zechariah 5 and verse, verse 3, uh, verse 2 we say, uh, The length thereof is 20 cubits, and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. And he said unto me, This is, cur this is the curse that goeth um, forth over the face of the whole earth. Can. And every one that stealeth shall cut off, shall be cut off Can. on this side, Can. according to it. And every one that sweareth shall be cut off right, on that side, as according to it. Can. And I will bring it forth. Say, so Philip, I say, I'm going to bring it forth. I'm going to bring all these forth. chariots, you know, so called white man called UFO, uh, aerial, phenomenal. Say, so I'm going to bring it forth. Go on. And I will bring it forth, say the Lord of hosts. And it shall enter into the house of the thief. And it shall enter into the house of the thief. Who is the thief? So called white man is the thief, yo. You see, you can't bring out John, John 10 and 10, brother. Send John 10 and 10. So the book of St. John 10 and verse 10 Go on. It says the thief commit not but for to steal and to kill. Can because you know scripture, you know, multifold, you know. But then it's about um wicked um scribes and Pharisees, but today it's a refer to the so-called white man. Because the so-called white people, which are the Edomites are thief, you know, Started with Christopher Columbus, you know, coming over this side of the world. When you come over you can do rob, rape, slaughter. So what them basically call come over here come do? From them time up to this very day. So it's so-called white man been living here by sweat, going back to Genesis. You see, so this country, country of basically do it, even to this very day. Just tell lying in a country, and just run in, you see me, and destroy the country and take the resources. So it's what the scripture say. Read it again, brother, from top. St. John 10 and 10. Um, St. John 10, verse 10. Go on. It says, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to... And to kill, and to kill go on. and to destroy. And to destroy. Go on. Basically, let me bring out that. Finish up, finish up, finish up. It says, um, and to destroy, I am come that day might have life. So, Lord, how shall I come so we can have life? Go on. And that day might have it more abundant, abundantly. Can so we can have life more abundantly. Go on. Scripture, you know, I'll bring out um, Revelation 6 and verse 4. And it says, um, and they went out. Another horse that was red and and poor was given, um, given him that sat there their hand to take peace from the herd, yeah. and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him um, a great sword. Fine. So that way, so called white man basically I'm um, blessing. Go back to Genesis, you know. We get from our forefather um, he, um, Isaac, which basically um, is a sword. Okay. So that's how they live by the sword. Yeah. The scripture says that the thief come to destroy him. Okay. In order to him, sword him, weaponry, all of them stuff they need to destroy. Uh -huh. Back in um, Zechariah 5, verse 4, it says, And I will bring it forth, say the Lord, into the house, say the Lord of hosts, um, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. And it's a so called white man. And into the house of him that sweat falsely by my name. And to house of him that sweat falsely by my name. And it shall remain in the midst of it thereof, um, in the midst of his house, that okay, and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Can. Exactly. So it's all kind of white people, you know. The hard the house shall come back and basically remove them from out of power. We're in a timeline now. See, no matter what they want to try or what they want to do, guess I now stop it. Too. 
You see, because everything was predestined, you know, before the foundation of the earth according to the scripture. So with that, I say all praises and honor to you, however, Hashem, 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 double and stay passes and elders of great men stone. Shalom to all our brothers out there, push us through, you know, continue to push us through, because, you know, pretty soon we're going to leave this wicked society. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.